there, this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com. I'm also with the Sizzix Design Team, and I'm here today to show you how to create this really festive summertime home decor. It's a picket fence, and it just basically stands up like this. You could use it as a centerpiece or a windowsill decoration or a bookshelf decoration. Sky's the limit, but there it is. So let's begin. So this project will require uh, quite a bit more product than I'm used to using, but primarily we'll be using the Sizzix Moroccan Collection by Dina Designs. I have the little sizzles that are sized perfectly for the Biggs dies. These fun little tassel embellishments. Didn't know if you knew um, that Sizzix actually made embellishments, but I got these just for fun and I really like the tassels. The Moroccan embossing folder. This one is just a border. And then the Moroccan flowers with the framelits and matching stamps. The two main dies we'll be using is the fence die by Dina Designs. It's a big die, so you just need two standard cutting plates, as well as the flowers 3D die. And this is Coordinations. This is their Brights cardstock, and I just cut them up so that they could fit onto the die easily. Some Distress Crackle Paint in Clear Rock Candy and Picket Fence. Some Crafty Hinges. These ones are from Close to My Heart, but I'm sure you can find them in your hardware store. Some Brads. These are from Basil. It's their 3 millimeter. I like them because they are, they are long, so they'll be perfect for the project. As well as adhesives, I have my scrapbook adhesives by 3L, my stick adhesive in the permanent and repositionable dots, and some dots. Let's begin. The thing we want to do is die cut three of the little sizzles chipboard mat boards three times um, I already painted over these ones with the distress crackle paint in clear and white so we're just gonna do that with this one so go ahead and put this face down between two standard cutting pads and then run it through your die cutting machine And the first thing I want to do is cut these little pieces off because I'm going to be creating that accordion or folding centerpiece and I, I don't want that to get in the way. So this piece will be in the middle and I'm just going to cut off these little pieces. When that's done, we can start painting. I'm using the picket fence just on the edges, I'm just brushing it over to create an antiqued look. Once your center fence is done, the one where we cut off the, the little notches, we're going to put it together with the hinges. And we're going to place the hinges behind the fence on the bottom and at the top. So the first thing you want to do is poke your holes for your brads. So it should bend pretty easily, and now you can go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. And you have all the hinges on with the brads. It should bend and stand up like that. Thank you. 
The next thing we want to do is die cut our flowers and start putting our flowers together. This is another Biggs die, so again, you'll just need your cardstock face down. This is the Coordination's Brights. And then run it through your die cutting machine with two standard cutting plates, like so. And I have mine already sanded. You'll get a little flower and a big flower. And I'm going to use this Coordination's Color, block, color Core cardstock block just to sand it. And you want to be careful because some of it will break off. But that's okay, you'll just get different sizes of flowers. And then for these, using the scraps from the die, you want to cut off some circles to act as uh, flower bases to adhere them on. So for example, I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm just going to put some permanent adhesive down. So that it covers the circle. And then using, starting in the middle, just going to coil this up. And then you just lay it down onto that adhesive circle and you can cut off any excess that's showing. And there you have one flower. Go ahead and repeat that with the other flower 3D dies, die cuts. So I have some tips when you roll these up. Make sure you put a ton of adhesive on your little flower base. And for extra stickiness, I'm going to put a medium dot right in the center. And when you roll it up, you want to make sure that the center and the end are tucked together and that they're pressed down. This will make sure that the flower stays in place. So I'm just going to roll it up. I have my forefinger on the center. And then I'm going to tuck the end right on top of the center, the back, the center, the back of the center, and I'm going to put the other, the base, right down there. And then press everything together and hold it for a few seconds. And now you can add your flower center and whatever other embellishments you're using. So now we're going to move on to the little hanging pennant and I cut these out using my Sizzix Eclipse with just a banner cutting file and we're going to emboss and sand them and they'll end up like that. For the banner we're going to be using this Moroccan border embossing folder and using repositionable adhesive we're just going to adhere it to the, to the part where we want that design. Comes out, it should still be in place. We're just going to take them out and then using this color core sanding block, we're just going to sand them. And this cloth is their uh, dust grabber and it pretty you just wipe it and it takes away all that excess cardstock from the sanding. So we want to expose that embossed edge and then we're going to sand the edges and then just using the cloth you can wipe it clean.
we're just going to stamp a little design. This is the Moroccan Flowers stamp set with the matching framelits. And these little banner cuts should still have their uh, repositionable adhesive, so I'm just going to position them in a circular pattern. To string it together, I'm going to use Lawn Fawn's Variegated Twine and the My Stick Permanent Adhesive. So I'm just going to switch it out to permanent. Just going to tie a bow on one end. And then I'm going to start putting adhesive on the backs of all of the pennants, right at the very top. and then laying them down. Like this. And once I put them on the fence, I'll use a glue dot to secure them onto the fence. Now we can start adhering all of the little embellishments we made and the first thing we're going to adhere is the pendant. I'm just going to use these medium dots. And now using some photo corners we're going to adhere the photo. So the photo corners are self-adhesive, so they'll adhere right onto the fence, just like that. And now we can start adding our rolled 3D flowers. And there you and there you go. You can add some more flowers and leaves with the sequins. Again, this was the Impress sequin flower kit. So, you can just finish up embellishing and it should fold real nicely and stand up. Again, this was Tiffany with iheartartblog.com from the Sizzix design team here to show you this summertime Moroccan inspired centerpiece. Thanks for watching.